Hi, welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm very excited to show you all the things that I got from the bin store. For those who've never been to a bin store, it's um, Goodwill, and they have like these big blue bins. And when I've seen them online, they're like just filled with a mismatch of stuff. But the uh, the Goodwill outlet that I went to with the bins had everything um, separated. The shoes were separated, the clothes were separated, the glassware was separated. So it was very nice. It was not broken or anything like that. And I found all these things and they only charge 50 cents a pound. So all these things I got was only about $3. We'll start with these vintage um, paper mache eggs. And I'm going to sell them as a lot and they go for about $35 to $40. And there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, about 11 of them right there. And back here are some, a set of thimbles. They're like advertising thimbles for like ivory soap, Campbell's soup, Morton salt, Bonamy, Arm and Hammer. And then this little tiny one here, it's got a little bit of a crack in it, but as a lot, they sell anywhere from about five to $20. Then this little pitcher right here is a hand blown art glass pitcher. Now it's very dirty and dusty, but you can see the pommel mark there and it will sell for about five to twenty dollars and then this little yellow chickadee bird right here on top of an egg will sell for about ten dollars he doesn't have any chips or cracks and he doesn't have any markings on him either but he's very very vintage then the 3d laser ballerina in there will sell for about five to twenty dollars and then this right here i had to look him up and see what he was but he's a jonathan adler utopia he's only one of a salt and pepper set but the salt and pepper set together sold for thirty dollars so i'm gonna put him for about 15 a little salt or pepper and then this right here is a pottery mug with the symbol there and it's um gifts from ireland dublin shannon distribution and it's not signed or anything but it would sell for about 15 to 40 dollars then back here is a holland mold madonna and someone did a very nice job on her i thought she was very had a very sweet face and she would sell for about ten dollars then moving over here, this piece of driftwood, I thought it was like a stone with a painting of a turtle on it, but it's actually hand carved, hand carved piece of wood on driftwood and it's signed. And these sell for about $20. Then the Fenton Amberina Hobnail Stretch Swan Neck Vase there sells for about Ten to twenty dollars then I usually don't show the Christmas stuff but the Christmas stuff was in the bin so I picked this up and I'm gonna show you the uh, Looney Tunes ornament would sell for about eight dollars the um, claymation little Santa would sell for about five and then the Santa cookie jar would sell anywhere from about five to fifteen see I don't think he has any mark yes he does world world bazaar made in China so save those for Christmas but I had so much fun finding the outlet store with the bins and searching through the bins and asking how in the world does this work because I've never been here before but it was lots of fun and look at all the stuff that I found that could resell for very good money for only 50 cents a pound so about three dollars now, since that was only like a four or five minute video, I'm going to move on to the things that my mom found me um, at Fish and Goodwill. She, it's where I learned all my thrifting from and she still loves to do it. So she's helping me out here. She found this um, crystal, pretty heavy candy dish for $1.99 at Goodwill and it would sell for about 10 she found this lovely angel wall hanging. She's called Noel, 
and she's from Hallmark and she paid $2.99 for her in the box and she would sell for about 10. She, let's see, I think that was all her Goodwill finds. The rest were from Fish. She got this pen from Charter Club for 50 cents and it would sell for about five. And she didn't tell me how much she paid for the glassware, but it's from Fish and you can always find things at Fish for pennies on the dollar. So I'm sure she got a really good deal. But these blue ones are um, Lennox with the cobalt stem and the swirled glass and the gold rim. All the gold is intact. There's no chips or cracks. She did a very good job. And the set of six would sell for about $20. She also found this set back here. Um, these are I, yeah, Libby Gold Leaf Frosted Pilsners. So I'll probably save those for fall. But for a set of four, they probably sell for about $25. Then my sister was all, all also helpful um, at Goodwill. On one of my videos, she saw that um, I had broken a couple of teacups on the way home. So she picked up this teacup and saucer for $0.99 cents each. And it is, um, let's see, it would sell for about $5. And it's a K, a Kason or a Kason made in Japan. And she got me a couple of those sets. And then I'm still ended up with this, just this one teacup that doesn't have a saucer. So I'll still be looking for that. Then one of my friends, one of my childhood friends from when I was little messaged me and said she had these two Asian figurines and did I want them? I said, of course I want them. So she um, had them sent to my sister and I picked them up. This little fisherman with his buckets and his fish in his thing there. Let's see, he's made in China. And then the lady with her, maybe a bread basket, or maybe she's got a fish in there. Yeah, fish basket, maybe they go together. Also made in China. They would sell for about $10 each. I'll probably put those up separately. But there you have my weekend of visiting family. And my mom found all this for me. And then all the stuff I found at the Goodwill bins. I had so much fun at the bin store. I hope I get to go back soon. But it is about a 45 minute drive away. So I probably won't get to go there that often. But I'm looking forward to the next time I get to go there. And of course all of the items you can find on my eBay store. Um, Blue Lady Thrifting. And I thank you for watching.